Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 6 and the final part of this RMS Baltic tutorial. Uh, today's focus is all the finishing off bits really, it's the funnels, lifeboats, uh, skylights, vents and things like that, all the things that, uh, well, we'll finish it off. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the funnels first, so what we're going to do is go to the main superstructure, which is the middle part, and what we're going to do is going to go to the grey, uh, the second grey deck house, the one that sort of looks like well, that basically. So this second deck house here. So this first one here is just a platform. The second one here is the proper deck house. So we go to that. And on the grey, we're going to count back to the sixth block back. So on the grey, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we build our funnel there. So the funnel front is three wide. And then we want uh, four rows of two out. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then the same on the other side. So out, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then it's three back, one, two, three. And then four rows of two back in again. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Same the other side, three back, one, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And one in the middle, like that. So there we are, there's our funnel uh, foundation. And you can see it's basically a square that way and a diamond that way. But you know, that's, that's what it is, so there we go. Um, so that's funnel number one. Now for funnel number two, you're going to go to the back of the first funnel and you're going to count back on the grey to the 24th block back. So that's the first block of grey. So we count back to the 24th. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 blocks back, you start your second funnel. So on the 24th block, we build our funnel. So 3 wide again and then out 4 rows of 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 plus 3 back. 1, 2, 3. And then the two is back in. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Same the other side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Three back. One, one, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Plus one in the middle. And there we go. There's funnel number two uh, in place. There we are. That's those two thingy me what's a jiggies there. Now for the funnel itself, we're going to build up. Uh, for build up the yellow and then the black on top. Now what we're going to do is I'll build the funnel. Uh, as a standard, then we'll sort out the slant later on the, the top slant. So go from the center of the funnel, and what we're going to do is build up 10 in yellow. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then behind that, up 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then behind that, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then in black, up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. There's our funnel color scheme, like so. And then you're going to build that exact same design on all the front blocks of each section. So you build the same design on that block there, there, there and there, and also on the front there, and then on the back build the same design there, 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 in there, and in the middle as well. So it's the same design all the way around. So I'll do, I'll do a quick, I won't copy paste just yet, I'll just do the first few sections so that they all line up. So there's the first section and then the black on top, and then I move on to the next row and do the same again. So it's 10, 11, 4 in the yellow, and then the black in 7. And then the next row, same again. Apologies for the noise, I do have the window open. And then the next row. And you sort of get an idea on how this goes. <laughs> And then the next row, so. But if you're familiar with my builds, you should know how this goes. It's the same sort of thing. So there we are. There's the first sort of corner of the funnel done. So you just carry on that same thing all the way around until you end up with uh, that sort of thing over there in the distance. So, um, yeah, don't look too bad. So I can do a, a quick copy-paste with the rest of the section. Otherwise, I'll be here all for the day. So copy from up there. Down to that, and I shall copy. So copy that point there. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm doing now, I'm just copy and pasting the rest of it, just to save a bit of time. So I'll quickly paste it there, and the next row, and the next row, and the next row, and then the final sections are there. And there we go. There's all the rest of the funnel done. So there we go. That's that bit done. And what you need to do, as this is only one side done, I'll do the other side later on. But just go on the inside now. I'll go on the inside rather. 
and then just start filling in the gaps. As this is a fairly basic shaped funnel, there's only one gap really because it's uh, between the front and the back really. There's no uh, sections between each or gaps between each sections. So there we are, there's the bottom of the yellow and now the top black. And there we go, there's our funnel done. So that's how it should look when it's all done. And like I said, that's only one side done. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how it should look at the moment. So, like I said, I'll do the other side in a minute. But now we're going to work on the uh, the slant. So what we we'll do? We we'll go to the top, and if you look at the funnel side on. So if you look at it, look at the front side, side on like so. What we're going to do is count back from the top block uh, to the fifth block back. So that's one, two, three, four. You leave the first four, and then from the fifth, you remove one, two, three, four. Remove four, and then the next group along, four, the fifth block along, remove two along, so one uh, so remove the next four but two blocks down so two, two and two like that and then in the middle and there you go, that creates the slant at the top of the funnel like that, so it slants, it's probably a bit of an exaggerated slant but if you want to adjust it you can it's just uh, one of those things and then for the black underneath you can do the same design again so second, uh, looking, at it, looking at it side on, go one, two, three, four and on the fifth block remove one, two, three, four, and replace with black. And then the next four, remove two and replace with black again. So it's a fairly standard what's it? Like so, and there we go, there's the slant of our funnel like that. And uh, it don't look too bad. Oh, it looks uh, alright. So I'm going to quickly copy that to the other side. Like I said, I've only done one side, I'm just going to quickly copy that over. Like I said the funnel is fairly simple in design, so it's not going to be too much of a bum breaker. So let's quickly copy that. So uh, copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go. There's both sides done. So that's the funnel in its full diameter, and it don't look too bad. And uh, there we go. So what you want to do is just move on. When you do the second funnel, it's exactly the same design, right? It's exactly the same layout, exactly the same slant, and all things like that. Um, before we finish the detail, or before we finish the funnel, we're going to do the details on the front. So we've got to add a ladder to the front of the funnel. So a line of black blocks up the front of the yellow to the top of the yellow, like so. And then at the top of the funnel, we can use stone or cobblestone wall for a whistle. Either a whistle at the top like that, or two whistles like that. Entirely up to you. And then for the for the ladder itself, you just put a ladder. Like so, all the way down the length or the height of our funnel, like so. And there we go, there's our funnel details on the front done. And on the inside, you can add the grill as well. It's up to you if you want to do this. It's not necessary or essential. I normally use grey wool or grey concrete for this one. So inside the funnel, go one block down from the top on the inside and one block back. Just build a line of blocks of grey like so across and then when you get to the slant go down one block and build another row like that and then another row like so and then back again one block down another line and then another line like so and there you go there's this, the, uh, the grill across the top Um that's pretty much it really for the funnel and uh, don't look too bad so there we are that's funnel number one done and for funnel number two, do exactly the same thing. Although you may not want the whistles on number two, it's up to you if you want to add them or not. Um, but yeah, it's uh, entirely up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to do a, a jump cut now while I sort out funnel number two, um, and then we can move on to uh, something else. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the two funnels in place, and they should look something like that, in theory. Uh, so yeah, that's both designs exactly the same and uh, all things hunky diddly dory right so that's the funnels done so what we're going to do now is move on to the back end of the deck house that supports the funnels so go to the back end of what you know the deck house with the grey bit on the top uh, go to the back end of that and we're going to add another deck house to it so we're going to go to the back wall and go to the side of the back wall on the uh, flat part and we're going to go to the third block in so one two three and then we're going to build back 15 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then do the same the other side, so third in, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then join them together across the back. 
like so. So it's basically an extension of that deck house, really. And then you increase that to five blocks high. So it's not as high as the, the main deck house, but it's one block lower. So it's five high like that, all the way around. So I shall do this as half fastedly as I can. And it's already paying off. <laughs> do, 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 do. What I'll do, I'll do one end, and I shall weld it at the rest. Uh, so uh, there's one side, five high, and I just do the rest with wild edit. And do that, and we do sit quartz like that. Same the other side. Sit with quartz, and there we go. There's our deck house walls built. And then for the roof, you use wood for this one. So you use wood blocks on the inside, all the way around, and everything should look fine. So once again, I should use fill the fill tool for this one, because. Uh, Filling it in by hand is a pain in the ass. So we use fill wood by 300, and there we go. That fills in the whole deck house like so, and that should look something like that. Marvelous. And we can add a few doors and windows to that. So we'll just go around and put a few windows in, like so, every two blocks. And then at the end, add a door or two, and then across the back, add windows as well. Like so, and then up the other side, do the doors and the windows as well. And there we go. That's that deck house done, like so. Now, is there any handrails to go on it? There will, there will be handrails to go on it, but not just yet. So, what we're going to do now is add a skylight to it. So, go for the back wall of the, well, the center of the back wall we just built on the de on the deck house we just built. And we're going to go to the so how do we want this one? We'll go about go for about four blocks. No, go about three blocks forward on the wood. So one, two, three, and then with white you're going to build uh, seven wide. So that's one, and then one, two, three that way. One, two, three that way. So it's seven wide like that. And then the sides are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then across the front like that, and then. On the front wall, add five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three on top of that. One, two, three. So it creates a slanty thing like that. Same on the back wall. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. And then uh, join them together across the middle. Like so with a spine. Um, and then make it three wide because it's quite a chunky one. So make it three wide like so. Like that. So three wide spine like that and now using court stairs wherever they are court stairs court stairs there they are we use our court stairs and use that to make ribs so uh, two stairs at the front like that leave a gap add two stairs there leave a gap add two stairs leave a gap add two stairs leave a gap add two stairs and there you go that sort of sort of toast rack style of uh, skylight if you know what I mean and do the same on the other side Like so, and oh, missed that one. And there we go. There's our uh, skylight there. And if you want to, you can remove a few blocks. We uh, we built the, the top three wide, but if you want to, in the middle, you can remove a couple of blocks to make it a bit more skylightery, if you like. So you got more of a rib cage going on there, and uh, it should look something like that. Marvelous. And uh, that's that job done there. And then on top of that, on top of the uh, skylight, if we go from the middle and go one uh, from the middle of the skylight, and go three back. One, two, three. Build a, a vent. No, but th no, I'm not three. Go one, two back, and then build up three. One, two, three, and one forward. In the middle, go th two forward, one, two, and go up three. One, two, three, and one forward. And there you go. There's your two skylight, uh, two vents on top of the skylight, and it should look something like that. Marvelous. And now I'm going to get my handrails, and we're going to add handrails all around the top of this uh, deck house. Like so, and there we go. There's that deck house done, and it should look something like that. Marvelous. Right, so what we're going to do now is move forward onto the grey now. So at the back of the ship still, but or the back of the main superstructure, but on the grey now. Go to the centre block, which I don't know which one it is. I think I think it's that one. So that's the centre block there, and on the grey we're going to count forward six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we build. Uh, seven wide, so that's one in the middle plus one, two, three that way, one, two, three that way. 
the sides are four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then join them together. And then leave a six block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, we do the same again. So it's seven wide. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four forward. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then across like that. So it's two skylights we're building there, exactly the same design. And for the design of the skylight, we want, I can't remember the design actually, we want uh, stairs every other block. So put a stair block in the middle, like so, and then one, hang on, not in the middle, uh, one on the end, and then one every other block, like so. So not one in the middle, but one every other block, like that. And the same on the front, one, two, three, four there. And then fill in the gaps around the sides, like so. And then add a spine in the middle, and then a block to connecting the stairs to each section. So you get so it's a, it's a basic skylight, really. It's a very very small design, like so. And then move forward to the other one and do exactly the same again. So stairs every other block, front and back, like so. And then join them together on the sides, spine in the middle and then connect up each stair set with a block like so and there you go there's those two skylights there similar to the first one but on a smaller scale basically um, still the toast rack sort of design but uh, that's those two skylights there so what we do now we move on to in front of funnel number two and in front of number one, funnel number two we're going to build another large skylight this time and this is going to be nine, hang on, how far is it Five, four, five blocks forward. So go from the front of the funnel and go to the fifth block forward. So one, two, three, four, five, and build our funnel. Uh, build our uh, skylight there. So the skylight itself is nine wide. So that's one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And the sides are eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and join them together. <coughs> And then we're going to build that two blocks high, all the way around. So this is this is similar to the one that's on the Titanic, if you know what I mean. The one between funnel number one and funnel number two. So it's a square all the way around. And we'll add a spine in the middle, like so. And then every other block, add a rib, like so. Like that, and if you want to add glass in there as well, and there you go, there's that deck house there. Marvelous, brilliant, beautiful. Uh, so now we move forward of that. Go about, go to, go to the, the back of the sec of the first funnel. So funnel number one is there, and go to the back of that, and go three blocks back. So one, two, three, and we build a line of five white blocks so one in the middle plus two either side like so and then add stairs on top of that like that and then add a line of blocks to the front of that so sort of like that sort of design <laughs> yeah I don't know so that's uh, that thing there and uh, that's pretty much it for that area there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another jump cut when I work out what to do next and then we can move on so uh, back in a moment Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the uh, platform on the front of the main superstructure. So this grey thing, whatever this is. Um, so we're going to go to the uh, go to the front of the white box that we built earlier. Now, uh, what in previous videos? Uh, we're going to go to the eighth block forward. So go to the centre of that and go eight blocks forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we build a skylight, which is going to be. Um, seven wide so that's three other sides so one two three there and one two three there so what we're building here is we're going to build a skylight and then we're going to build a tower compass compass tower thing on top of it so seven wide for the for the skylight and then the sides are four forward so one two three four and one two three four and then across the front like so um i'm just going to work out how this, how, which way this goes so on the front and the back build five one two three four five and then three one two three and the same the other side one two three four five and then three one two three I think this is how it goes 
It looks like a bit odd how it's uh, laid out, but who cares. So I add a spine through the middle. One, two, three, and then a block in the middle to create a cross. And then add our stairs. Stairs, 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 stairs to create the, the toast rack design. And the same on the other side. Stairs, 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 stairs. There we are. So that's our uh, skylight added there. Now, what we do now, we go to the corners of each... Uh, or each corner of the uh, the deck house and go one block out diagonally so one block so there's the corner there and go one um, and two blocks out rather and then build up three one two three like that and the same in the other corners out diagonally one two three out diagonally one two three and then out diagonally by two one two three up like that so here we have got a, a sort of thing like that which I think may be slightly too big, but never mind. And then what we're going to do, then we're going to build another row of three diagonally in from that. So go to the top block and whichever one, because they're all the same, and add a block back, and then add one, two, th damn it. Uh, so I'll do that again. So black, back one, and then up on the inside, one, two, three, like that. And you can remove that block there. So it sort of creates an overlap, but uh, not very well, not very effective one. So do the same on the other ones. One block back, and then up, one, two, three two three like that remove the block on the other back ones one forward and then up one two three remove a block same other side one forward and then one two three remove a block like so so you got a, a sort of thing like that yeah and then we're <laughs> I'm actually gonna fly over to the prototype because I want to know how this goes because I've not written it down I just sort of put improvise and elaborate from there so uh, slightly different design I'm gonna go for here because I have screwed it up but never mind we're gonna carry on and persevere with what we got, and god I'm sorting that buggery, it's hot. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now is from the top blocks, is build one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five back. One, two, three, four, five back. And uh, they don't look too bad, so it's, it's a compass tower which is kind of taking shape. And then we we'll add a floor to it because it's uh, it's all going to be white. So bear with me on this one. There we go. So there's our thingy. What's it there? And then we can add a wall around that. Now, this is slightly bigger than the one on the prototype, but that does allow us for a bit more detail to go on top if you decide to do that. And then what we're going to do is. Uh, we're going to add two staircases to this one because I was originally one. So I add uh, go two blocks in from the end and add a staircase there, and then go from the other side, two blocks in, and add a staircase there. So I build two staircases here, and we're going to go down from there, down to the deck below. So put a stairs block, stairs block, stairs block. If you know what I mean. That's going to be a bit of a finicky thing, but it's not very well designed. If you know what I mean. So there we are. there's one staircase there. Now originally this one didn't have two, but uh, like I say, we're improvising and uh, everything should work out fine. <laughs> so just get this other one out of the way. And there we go, there's our two staircases there. And then we can build the banisters up. So two up, two up, two up, two up, and one either side of the stairs. Two up, two up, two up, two up there, and then Cross. Two up, two up, two up, two up, and then two up, two up, two up, two up, and one there. And there we go. So there's our, our quite god awful looking deck uh, platform thing in my what's it. And uh, there we can add that and sort of do what you like with that. Uh, for the compass itself, I just put a little mast there. Sod knows what it's going to be doing, but there you go. And uh, yeah, it don't look too bad. It's not brilliant, not perfect. Just damn the hell, not beautiful. But it's a thing, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with. So what I'm going to do now is either side of that uh, compass tower. If we, or if we go from the the, uh, the skylight underneath, it's kind of you know kind of defies the point of having a skylight here, really, because you're not exactly looking at the sky. But hey ho, there we go. Anyway, from the skylight, we go four blocks out to the side. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Make it six blocks out. And then build a cross. Because we're going to build two large vents here. So we'll put one there. And do the same on the other side. Six out from the middle. From the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Build a cross. 
like so. And then we're <laughs> going to build our large, large, uh, oh, what are they? Vents. So we're going to build them four high. So two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four plus two in the middle. And then face them forward and add the stairs to the tops, like that. And then on the front, add two blocks forward, two blocks forward, two blocks forward, and one. Like so. So it sort of looks like a sunflower, vaguely. And then add stairs to the bottom, stairs to the top, stairs to the side, and to the other side, like that. And there you go. There's that first vent there. And do the same on the other side. So two, three, four up, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then two up there. And then stairs, 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 stairs. And then two forward, two forward, two forward, and one. And then our stairs, top, middle, and sides. And there we go, there's our two skylights there. Two skylights and a god awful compass platform. But we pulled it off, and it don't look too bad. So that's that little job done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another quick jump cut while I work out what the hell I'm doing. And then we can move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is the last phases of this build is to go to the back end of the ship and start with the rudder. And then we'll come back and sort the lifeboats out. So we'll do the rudder first. Go all the way to the back end of the ship. And I'm going to be glad when this thing's over with because I'm sweating like buggery here. Um, so yeah, we'll go right down underneath the ship. And what we're going to do is add hinges. And I don't know how many we need. We need... Uh, we need nine hinges. So the hinges are cobblestone wall, I think. Wherever is it? Oh, there, cobblestone wall. We need that. So we need nine hinges. So we add uh, on the bottom at the end of the kill. Add one there, and then every other block, add one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine hinges, like so. And then for the bottom of the rudder, we'll start with the red bit. The bottom of the rudder we want um, five, so one, two, three, four, five back like that. And then we have two, one, two, and then two up, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Now curving forward we want four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, like that. And then build that all the way forward to connect to the hinges and then down to the bottom like so, so you've got your, your redder, red section like that, and then fill that all in with red, like so, and then we'll just do the black bit in a moment, and there we go, so there's the red section filled in, and then for the black bit, um, we want, we want to leave a block, and then we add one block like that, one block of black, and then we add two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and four again, one, two, three, four, like that. And that would give you the shape, roughly, of the rudder. And uh, it don't look too bad. So the ship is definitely taken in shape, it's got its full silhouette now. The final job now, apart from handrails, is to add the lifeboat. So we should go to the front of the main superstructure now, and we'll go on the left side, because I normally work on the left side and just to get my notes ready for this one and what we're going to do pardon me, is on the front left corner well, it's the same on both sides so you can either do the left or the right it's up to you so the front left corner of the top deck we're going to go to the third block back so uh, one two three and then we're going to add a davit there so we put a block on the side like that and then we want to go up five one two three four five and then two one two and then three back one two three like that and then underneath the davit you go down five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So that, uh, that's that first davit. And then what you're going to do then is count back from that first davit, 13, to add the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And do the same again. So down five, or add the first block and then down five. One, two, three, four, five, and then up five. One, two, three, four, five and then two, and then three, one, two, three. And these two davits face each other like that. And that's a pair which will support one boat. Um, so the boat will go in between those, but we're going to sort that out in a minute, because on the top deck here, there's, there's only a short deck, so there's only going to be three boats either side on this top deck. So I'll come back to that in a minute. And then on the next deck below, we'll go to the back of the... Uh, go down one deck and go to the back. 
and from this white wall here on the side we're going to go one block back from that and you'll start building your davits there so there's going to be four on this this side of this deck down here if I give you a look on the prototype you'll sort of get an idea on what I'm trying to do so you've got three up here on the on the top deck so, so three up there and then down one deck you've got four back there so that's all the lifeboats in place when they're all done so like I say three up there four down there and they're all the same design so um, each set of davits as well are spaced by a single block so I put our, we've got our first davits in place so I'll add I'll go to a, a one block back and we'll add the next set so it's exactly the same design five down and then five up and then two and then one two three in and then 13 blocks back we add the next one So, so one, two, two, three, four, five up, plus two, plus three, and then down five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a one block gap again, one block, and then down five, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, two, and three, and then 13 block gap again, or 13 block back to the next davit on there block and then down five one two three four five up five one two three four five and then one two and one two three so there we are there's our first three pairs of davits in place for the second set I've already pointed out or the, or the on the next deck rather I've already pointed out you go from the back wall here so it's one two three four five up one two one two three and then one two three four five down although with this deck it's a bit more difficult because of the overhang of the deck so where the, this set of davits go down you're going to want to put a couple of blocks on the side of the ship just to connect the davit up like so how did I do it on the prototype because I cannot remember uh, what did I do I actually incorporated the davit into the structure of the ship but I didn't do that on this one so it's up to you how you want to do that but personally I just stick the davit to the side and then you can put a couple of blocks to connect it like so so move on to the next davits so 12 13 back, do the same again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then underneath, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 2 to connect, so there we are, there's our next set of davits, and the next ones, like I say, are every, other, every single block gap, add the other ones, so you want 4 sets of davits on this side, that's the first one there, so you want uh, 3 more of those, and that'll be fine, so if you, if you can do that, fine so what I'm going to do now I'm going to move on to the front of the superstructure again and build the first lifeboat so we go from the front of the first davit or from the first davit and go uh, one, uh, two blocks in and then two blocks back and we build the keel of our first boat the boats are only 12 blocks long so that's one uh, the, or the keel of the boat is, is uh, 10 blocks long so it's two blocks wide 10 long so that's one already two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then at each end you build two and two and the front end two and two and then join them together down the, down the sides like so and then we fill in the body like so, so there's the boat in between the two lifeboat davits and for the cover it's up to you how you want to do this because I normally put carpet over the top for um, colour I normally use blue, so I use blue for this one. And then we just put a bit of blue over the top, like so. And you can double stack the lifeboats if you want, because the, the gantries davits are quite tall. So if you want to put another lifeboat on top of this one, you can just uh, you know bulk up the the look of the ship, and uh, everything will look interesting, if not better. So there we are. There's our first uh, set of lifeboat, or well, first lifeboat and davits done there. So like I say, you just carry on that design all the way to the next one. So the same lifeboats for all the davits, the next three, or the next two on the top deck, and then the four on the bottom deck. And uh, everything should be fine. So like I say, carry on building the davits. You want four sets on this side down there, and then do the same on the other side. So four sets down the bottom there, and then three sets on the top. And then everything should be fine. Um, I can't really explain it any better than that without actually doing it, because I don't really want to do it all on camera, because it takes too long. Um... But what I'll do, I'll do another boat, so you know what I'm doing, so 10 block keel, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there we go, and, and then each end, 2 and 2, 
and then two and two and then across the sides like so and then like so and then of course the blue cover which is optional There we go, that's our second boat done there. So like I say, you want seven boats down this side, seven on the other side, and everything should look fine. So what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut while I, work, um, while, while I do all that. And then uh, we'll move on. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's all the lifeboats in place, and it should look something like that. So you've got seven boats down one side, and seven boats on the other side, which I've already put in place. So there we go, that's uh, the ship pretty much done. And um, last job really we need to do is just add a few handrails, so don't look too bad, do it? So anyway, all life boats are in place. And now we move on to our handrails, which are iron bars, of course. And the last job for them really is just to add handrails across the front of the top superstructure between the front two lifeboats. So I'll go from the fr first davit and add handrails across the front, like so. And there we go, that's that bit done there. And then from the back end of those three lifeboats on the front uh, top deck, uh, from the last davit, we can add handrails there as well to uh, f uh, c uh, finish off this top deck. Like so. And then I'll oh, do the other side as well, I've not done that one. La 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 la, dee dee dee. So add the handrails this side. There we go, that deck done there. And the last job really is to go from the back end of the deck where the last four lifeboats are. And basically go from the last davit and add handrails across the back of the deck house, of the top deck, of the deck house rather. And uh, everything should all be okay then, that will be 100% complete. And that uh, is a godsend to me because it's not been a happy build this one, it's, it's in the middle of a heat wave here and I don't tolerate heat too well and uh, I'm sweating my bagulies off right now and it's not very nice. Uh, so there we go, there's all the handrails done, that's all the lifeboats done, and that's all the details done, that is the uh, the Baltic done, I really nearly forgot its name then. So yeah, that's the RMS Baltic all done. And uh, there we go, so thanks for watching and all things like that and uh, the next build will be along shortly, or in a couple of days, a week maybe for the Hakira Maru, uh, which will be uh, that ship over there. Not the next one there, but the ship with the black funnel, the large ship with the black funnel, not the tugboat, but that one over there, the Japanese liner, that will be the next build. And that's coming up possibly a week, maybe a week or two's time, and uh, we'll see. But uh, we'll just go around our ship and make sure everything is complete, because I do believe everything is. And uh, apart from the heat, it's not too it's not too bad a build. I will say it's it's been a it's, it's all right a build. I didn't say it was an unhappy build. It's just the heat that's putting me down really. But uh, overall, it's been a, a pretty good build to do, and a uh, fairly easy one to uh, well at least in my eyes it's been fairly easy to do because I'm doing all the writing down and doing all the bloody measuring. So it's uh, been a fairly uh, fairly good build. So there we go. That is the belt uh, the Baltic all done. And it does leave options for conversions as well, because there were four ships of this class, or four ships in this class, um, four ships similar to this one. Uh, they had the same uh, hull layout and funnel layout, just slightly different superstructures. So I may come back to the ship and do a few conversions later on. I've got to do a bit more research and find out what the, cha uh, the changes actually were, because there were four, like I say, four ships. This is the Belt, the Baltic, of course. There was the Cedric, the Celtic. And the Adriatic, I think, well, were all four of them. So I've got to do a bit more research before I work out uh, which changes are needed to be done. So uh, we'll, we'll work out that one later on. But like I say, thanks for watching and subscribing and following these builds. And thanks to those who have become patrons to help support the channel to keep me going. They are very much appreciated. Um, and not much else to say. But like I say, the, the next build will be the Hakira Maru. And uh, that will be as and when it comes along. So uh, thanks all for watching and all things like that, and I shall leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing, and I shall return with another video soon. So uh, bye, uh, bye for now, and thanks again.